All right, guys, I feel like we just did a video with Pablo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to be talking Pablo again here in a second, man. Okay, so this uh, this video is about those tax incentives. Remember those tax incentives a couple years ago? Bring your car down tax-free. Bring your household items tax-free. Pablo's the import-export guy. And we made a video that I'm going to put a link to in the description. This is kind of like the second part of that video, kind of an addendum to that video. And I'm going to explain it in a minute. We'll, we'll get there in a second. Hold on. Hey guys, I'm Michael Long for TravelCostaRicaNow.com. I'm going to forego the travel agency stuff, even though we are a travel agency, because right now Pablo and I are down at the in Estadios Este, which is about 20 minutes from Manuel Antonio, at the relocation retreat. He speaks, I speak, he speaks about import stuff, I do my thing. But if Costa Rica is on your radar, you're thinking about moving here, living in Costa Rica, you might want to consider a relocation retreat. It's a six, six, seven day event. There's no blowing smoke. Um, I guarantee you after this event, you will know if Costa Rica is right for you. Nobody's going to try to sell you anything. You want more information on that? We're doing these relocation retreats, let's say every three months or so, but all the information is also in the link. It's right there. See it right there. All right, Pablo, here we go again. So again, this is kind of a second parter. And like I said before, you want to see the first part of this. We're not going over it. You're going to have to go back and look. But so we talked about um, you're the import export container guy. You're the, you're the guy that brings down the cars. You're the guy that brings down the household items that, are, that you can get tax, tax free with these new incentives. If you have your residency, if you have your residency. But what are a few things that the, the, uh, the gringo thinking about doing this? needs to consider why he's why he's going through this process which again is explaining the other video we're not going over that again so what are a couple of the issues okay and this happens even without this this <laughs> law <laughs> you know i mean people think they can ship their things and it's going to be here tomorrow and then i have my stuff international shipping is the process it could take a couple of months to have things in costa rica and then an another three or four weeks for customs now, these new incentives are adding, if you're qualifying for this, they're adding at least two months. I would say at least because it could be longer than that. So if you're thinking about this, it's like four or five months of waiting time. But you need to consider, okay, if you're shipping your automobile, so in five months, are you, you going to work? Are you yeah, gonna if you're, yeah, if you're in Costa Rica, what are you going to do for five months when you don't have an automobile? These are things to think about, but... <laughs> So is, is it a bicycle? Is it a, and, then, and there are many locations in Costa Rica which you really need to have a car. I mean, there are many places that you don't even have a bus. Or you don't have like you have to get your a taxi or or you have to have a and car. And if you and if you try to if you're not sure when your when your car is going to make it and you try to rent a car, you could have probably bought a car At for least. how much it's going to cost you to rent the car for. Let's say three months. I mean, they're, months. They're, they're rent the cars on the low side that is fifteen hundred. The less oh, expensive. Oh, that's low. It's around it's two thousand a month or so, right? Yeah, so, I don't know. so you're, you're, you know, yeah, that's a know. tip. So, again, if you're going through this process and you're, and you're waiting on your car, it might be advantageous for you to get a obviously a cheaper vehicle that you can get around for those three, four, five, possible five months or whatever that you can then sell. And mm -hmm. when your car comes in, but you think about it, five, six, whatever it is without a car, something to think about. And also, and it's, it's, it goes the same with your household goods. You're thinking, okay, I ship everything. I have my container It's coming down to Costa Rica. And in the meantime, sometimes you are renting in a hotel because it's furnished and that's expensive. And then right. are you going are you gonna to rent for five months? Right. So, or maybe you find a furnished apartment, which you're budgeting for a furnished apartment is more expensive. And then you already have your properties empty waiting for your furniture. So kind of like going through this thought, what am I going to do? I don't have a couch. I don't have a bed. I don't have none of my kitchen things. Uh, and you need to fix You have to have a plan for those things because these things are going to take way longer than, than expected, probably. Yeah. I mean, if you, again, if you've never been to Costa Rica, don't know how it really works, it's probably going to be longer than shorter. It, it, it rarely works out like your stuff got down here in a month or whatever it is. So these are some serious things to consider because it can really get. I just thought about something else. Maybe you are, let's say you are, I don't know, your profession. I mean, you are a writer. You are, 
maybe you have your books, your research documents in this container, and then you're five months waiting for these documents. You know, yeah. I, I, I had this, I had a customer, she was a writer, and she had an issue with the international shipment. And she was out for many months without her, her material to work. Yeah, to she work. needed to go and read. You are the camera guy. You need your camera, your equipment to work. You, you, so the things that you put in the container, make sure are those things that you don't really need for many months. Your, your furniture, your house of goods, but maybe your things that you, you work with, you bring in, in the yeah, plane. You good, bring with you. Yeah, that's a good tip. Yeah, <laughs> your laptop. I mean, I yeah, can't imagine yeah. somebody just leaving the laptop or something and how are you going to work? You're going to have to buy another one. Right, so these, these uh, tax incentives are probably going to be pretty beneficial. Again, it's in the early stages. We realize, Pablo realizes, I realize, these, are, these videos are probably going to generate more questions and answers right now, but at least it's kind of moving forward. Mm -hmm. And again, I'm going to say, please watch the other video uh, about these tax incentives, about bringing your car and all that, uh, because that's important as well. But we just want to do a little addendum video so you guys are aware of that and can make some good decisions. You know, before you just go, oh, you're going to yeah. No, it's all about you making the good decision uh, and think about these things before you go and do. You know, and you do you decided shipping. Just learn everything. Take it easy. Don't get too excited. It's gonna take some time. You, you know, know it's, it's funny how the car works because when you first brought it up, it sounds so obviously that's common sense. But w really, when you're doing it, you're really not thinking like that. You're just like, oh, I'm going to Costa Rica. My car is coming down. I will have a car. And then all of a sudden you're kind of going, I don't have a car. <laughs> <laughs> uh, people get frustrated. They get, yes. you know, uh, it happens all the time. They think it's going to be here the next day and it's not going to be here the next day, even without the incentive. Pablo, where's my car? <laughs> all Pablo's, the time. Pablo, where's my car? No, no, no. A hundred emails a day. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But no, you're many not. people. No, you're no, not. no, no, no. <laughs> I'll say not a hundred emails a day, but many people you know, feel frustrated, but we really, they honestly, think you're right. They think you're driving the boat. <laughs> Come on, hurry up. <laughs> you know, we try to set the expectations as clear as possible in our consultation calls. We try to say, this is how long it takes. The average customer takes this much so you can prepare yourself right. as much as possible. When I first started doing this, I didn't know, you know, I was a rookie yeah. uh, and, and I had a lot of bad experiences with customers. They really, you know, where is my car? Where is my car? But you know, after over a decade of doing this, we understand giving you clear expectations is key for you to do it properly. Yeah, you know what that brings? Uh, you know, we've done about three, I don't know, a few other videos yeah. with Pablo that I'm also going to put down below because it's all good information about shipping in general and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to put those below. If you have questions for Pablo, write me an info at TravelCostaRicanow.com. I'll get it to Pablo and you guys can set up your conversations and all that. Pablo, thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Hey, guys, I'm Michael Allen from TravelCostaRicanow.com. That's Pablo. If you're thinking about living or traveling anywhere, you should always do your homework and research. And uh, if it's Costa Rica, I'm going to put our videos up against anybody's. <laughs> Ciao.